Hi, I'm Bill. I'm Lori. And if this is the first time dropping into our channel, welcome. So, uh, Lori, what are we going to do here tonight? We're making uh, cheeseburgers part two. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was about a year ago when we made cheeseburgers. And almost a year to the day. Almost a year to the day. So, um, but this time Lori's making them, so you're going to see it's a lot more finesse than when I did it last time. But we'll put a link into that uh, video when we go forward. So why don't you explain what we're going to well, do Well, I'm just, here. I like to season my uh, ground beef ahead of time. And so I just add, have a little salt and pepper, a little garlic powder, and I put in some green pepper and some chopped onions, just to give it a little extra flavor. Well, I'll take care of that for you. Okay. Okay. And uh, and we're gonna make some pretty oh. big burgers. <laughs> yeah, I think we got 1.9 pounds of beef in that bowl, maybe. <laughs> Uh, of course, you would size it to uh, whatever you want. Eggs. If your family exactly. likes smaller burgers, then you would do smaller burgers. And you know, uh, our philosophy is you can cut onions and put them on top, or you can just throw them right in. So uh, it's kind of like a mini meatloaf in a yeah. way. Yeah. But okay. uh, all right. We're making pretty big size. We want burger. big burgers. <laughs> And the best way is to make a little indention in the middle of the burger, and then it won't. And from a heat management perspective, right now we have the Uni dual-sided Grizzler plate in the oven. Uh, put it in right as I started to warm up the oven. Uh, the oven's been on about 20 minutes, so we should be in good shape here. Oh, wow, this one's a really big one, Bill. Okay, This well, one's supposed to be yours. They shrink up a little bit, yeah. so... And I think we kind of got big buns. Yeah. These are 80-20. Uh, 80-20? Yeah. What, what the, ground, no, the ground beef oh. is 80-20. Oh, as far as fat content? Uh-huh. Okay, well, that's kind of nice because it gives it a little bit of uh, flavor. And uh, sometimes the uh, 90% is a little bit too dry. Yeah. In taste. Okay, is that is that good for you there? Yeah. Oh, let me just... Okay. Look <laughs> how giant these are. <laughs> yeah, they're big. Okay, I'm gonna put it down. Oh, okay. And then let me just clean this up a little bit. And then if we move that pan right over here, I'll get the grizzler out. Okay. And again, uh, since we're working with the uh, uni uh, dual-sided grizzler plate, uh, just gonna use the uni gloves. Yeah. All right. That, that looks hot. You gonna put them on? Oh, me? I thought you were gonna do it. No. Oh, okay. Well, let me take the gloves off. I, I know. Then, I can do it. I yeah, can do it. Okay. I would just. Uh, <laughs> oh, those are big burgers. <laughs> I told Lori that I really wanted to get dramatic here and have a big burger so it kind of fills the bun. Yeah, uh, So okay. these are good. This is gonna go in? Yeah. Now I've turned the oven down to low. And let's see if Lori tells me to turn it up to high. No, I think that's good. Yeah, no, that, that's looking good. Boy, those are, okay, Lori. <laughs> We have our meat thermometer, and we yeah. looked up that we need to make it at least 160. Yeah. I have not made such giant burgers before, but... Yeah, boy. Okay. I hope they don't shrink up. <laughs> Bill wanted to make sure they fit the bun. Absolutely. To me, when you make a hamburger, and you put it on the bun, and there's a lot of extra uh, bun, yeah. um, I don't care for that. And oftentimes, so, I don't even This is a nice bun. brioche bun. So oh, a brioche pretty, bun. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, this is cooking good. I don't know. I'm not necessarily keeping track of the time. Um, so I guess we're kind of cooking mini meatloafs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ground beef steaks, I think. Yeah. So we're um, we're headed down to Pismo Beach next week, and then on to Santa Barbara. Uh, we're going to take our uh, Unicota 16 with us and our uni uh, 
cast iron, uh, dual sided Grizzler, and as well as the cast iron uh, pan. And uh, we really find when we're camping, it's nice to have, and we can keep our Weber Cube Grill at home and our Coleman Camp Stove at home. Yeah. So. No, that's because we, we can make our coffee inside. Yes, we percolate the coffee inside our uh, Winnebago Solus. And uh, everything else we can cook with the uni. And uh, what are you going to make? Uh, I saw some beans in there. Are we doing uh, some kind of bean <laughs> well, dish? Well, I thought we could do some barbecue beans and sausage as one easy meal. And I don't know, I bought some uh, skewers so we could make some shish kebab, you know. Okay. Have we made that before? Yeah, but yeah. I use those little sticks. Uh, these are metal reusable. You want to maybe just see if they're released? Yeah, I think they are. Oops. That one's a little tight. Oh. It's a little windy out here tonight. Okay, th this is where we need to start rotating. Yeah. So let's yeah, trade these maybe. two. Yeah, with this one. Yeah, okay. This one over here. Okay. Yeah, maybe we need, is there a, maybe it's, we need to even go lower? I don't know. Oh, you want me to go a little bit lower? Sure. Okay, I've gone below the uni low, kind of uh, halfway between the uni high and off. And again, um, we love that uni cast iron skillet pan. We just wish it was a little larger because uh, we probably would have cooked these hamburgers in that pan so we can just rotate the pan. What you're seeing uh, with the L burner design of the, for those of you not familiar with the uni Coda 16, I mean, it's, it's a great pizza oven and it can do all these other types of cooks in it. But it has an L burner design, so you have to be mindful that that left back corner uh, is the hottest area in the um, in the oven. So you have to rotate your uh, food around. When you make it a pizza, no problem because you're turning your pizza anyway. Um, but uh, but if you think back, your hamburgers were totally cooked, correct? Oh yeah, yeah. On our first cheeseburger video yeah. a year ago. And Absolutely. how did you cook it? <laughs> We didn't watch the video. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't watch the video. We, we could have. Well, we could have, but we can just do it from scratch and see how we do it now. And now that we've spent a year, uh, 13 months with the Unicoda 16. I bought this. Uh, it's called a Thermopan, and it's an instant read thermometer, but it's really instant. That's one of the nice things. So clearly we got a nice char on there. Uh, you're going to have to give me some guidance on when you yeah. think we should check it. I think we'll uh, do it one more time. Should I, I think take it out? Yeah, now? I, yeah. I think we're We're pretty, almost there. I think it's cooking yeah, pretty fast. I think we're pretty cold inside. You think so? Yeah, because we can see right there. Oh. So I think we flip one more time. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 126, 127. Oh, so we're okay. close, but why don't we flip this one? Okay. And since that's the biggest one, we can leave that in that corner, I would think. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, Did I turn it over? Yeah, just right in its in its spot. Yep. Yeah. And turn that one over. Maybe I'll rotate this one over because this is the small. Well, you, you haven't turned that one over. Oh. Did you turn it over? No. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 Here's where Lori and I approach things 180 different. No, no, don't touch. Don't touch. Come on. Yeah. I would rotate then. <laughs> I would turn them over then position them. But this is looking good. And I think going to the lower heat yeah. was probably a... Uh, well, you would... We have to be more mindful because it's such a really super thick patty. <laughs> yeah, the cheeseburgers I made about a year ago, um, they tasted great. Uh, the onion was not as finely chopped as Lori does. She does everything really, you know, finesse. Um, but they did turn out very good. Uh, I hope, 
I think they might have shrunk up. I don't know, maybe the buns, the meat won't hang over the bun. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if we press, pressed them press out a little them. thinner. Yeah. Uh, do you think we want to uh, cover it with tinfoil while we toast the buns? Yeah, or I'll, I'll go in and get some tinfoil. Okay. And I think I'm going to get another spatula. Too. Okay. So, um, if you're new to the channel, uh, hopefully you're enjoying the content. And if you are, we're up to... Uh, 989 subscribers if you'd like to help push us over that 1000 mark uh, why don't you hit that subscribe button we'd sure appreciate that um, but even if you don't subscribe we just en you know ha enjoy having you drop in and uh, as always asking uh, questions or making comments is always helpful uh, we like to hear from others how they're using their uh, outdoor pizza ovens uh, and we're always looking forward uh, to tips uh, from our viewers so we can improve uh, how we do things. But uh, yeah, it's been a blast the last 13 months with the Unicoda 16. And we do make pizzas. You want to take a temperature? You might want to flip them over. Okay, flip them so over. So they're all flipped. Okay, maybe I'll use no, that. No, 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 use spatula. Uh -huh. Here, want me to do it? No, I can do it. Okay. Okay, now, now take their temperature. Ooh. That's okay. You took the whole uh, roll of tinfoil out, right? No, I didn't. Okay. 122. Okay. 155. Okay. That one. So, so that, that, that one's looking good. And that one's got a little bit more. So let's just do this. Okay, so this one is uh, 155 in the rear, so we're just gonna kinda keep it in the cooler part of the oven. There we go. So what I did, Lori, mm -hmm. I, I put the one that was at 155, it's kinda in the uh, front right corner now. Oh, and okay. uh, You're the barbecue king. Yeah. No, I'm not. I am. There are so many people that are better barbecuers than me. That's uh, that's for sure. And for that matter, really haven't used our Weber over there <laughs> over a year. Uh, so, uh, all right. I'm going to turn it back up. Okay. And I think we're like really close. And Lori and I happen to like our hamburgers well done. Yeah. So. We follow the FDA guidelines. Of 155 and above kills the E. coli. Although I gotta tell you, all the years that I've eaten hamburgers, never really sure how, to what temperature they were cooked. Um, yeah, but we usually, at fast food, they're always really super paper thin. They are, and they have a time process, I'm sure, to uh, make sure to get to the right temperature. But, um, and what cheese are we using tonight? Oh, uh, we have Gouda. Gouda, all right. All right, I'm... Uh, you think they're almost there? You think they're almost there? Mm-hmm. Let's see. I might take a picture. Might what? Maybe I'll take a picture. Yeah. So that looks good. Okay, let me just get these flipped. Mm -hmm. You can use that. Oh. I think they're, they look ready well, to me. We'll flip them and then we'll take the temperature. And I think this little guy in the rear. I think he's Kind ready. of the runt of the uh, 
You don't want to go straight through the top, huh? You want to go on the side, or? Well, I think that's the better way. 160. Yeah, he's 165. Ready. 132. One okay, those two got a little more to go. So how about we uh, put this one on here and? Oh no, some... this was a kind of a dirty oh. plate. Do we? Uh, could you put a piece of tin foil in there and we can set oh, this okay. in? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You're such a smart guy. Okay. And just kind of cover this guy up, mm -hmm. them or whatever. And then we'll... Uh, and I'm not quite sure of the best strategy here, but we're going to put them both. Okay. And you know, I don't recall, but um, if we were doing this on our grill, Lori, I think we would, when we know they're ready, we would put the cheese on and then we turn the uh, the flame off, right? Is right. that kind of be what we're going to do? All right. We could still do that. Just turn it off and let let them sit in there. Well, I, let's oh, get them uh, sit out, sit let's get them here. cooked, and then we'll put the cheese on, and then I'll slide it back in and uh, let them melt. And uh, actually, uh, we won't put cheese on that one. We'll just do these two. Okay. Okay? Mm hmm I'm the cheeseburger person, and Bill isn't. <laughs> and uh, really no flare-up. And, well, a little bit on the, the Grizzler plate. Um, I don't want to create a spectacle like that first steak that we did. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn it back down. Okay. They look good, though. They smell good. I think they're really think they're close done? to ready. And I okay. think by the time we... Um, our, um, we chant them and everything, I think it'll be fine. Okay. So we're going to put the cheese on? Yeah, i got to find which, which plate has it. Let's just take, take the temperature one more time. Just okay. Hmm. <laughs> I got stuck on the thermometer. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sure that'll... What happened to the cheese? Oh, look, here it is. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're, uh, they look good. Let me uh, separate them a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to turn the oven off, huh? Okay. Actually, I'm going to turn it way down in the uni low. Oh, well, I guess I turned it off. That's oh, okay. It's pretty hot in there. It's pretty hot. All right, we'll let that uh, we'll let that go for a second or two, and then I think in the meantime. <laughs> that spills ringtone. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll just screen that call. Oh, that's yeah. looking good on the Perfect. cheese. Yeah. And how can are we going to do the plating here? Um, um, should I put it on there and then we'll just lift them across onto our plates? Yeah. Okay. All right. Can you pick that tying up for me? These gloves are a little bit. Uh... All right. So. Uh, there they are. There they are. I think last time I actually burnt the cheese a little bit. That's okay. okay. 
So bring our plates up. Oh, you want your bun toasted? No, right? that's okay. I can do without it. Well, here, let's see what. Uh, do I need to? Oh, I need to put the flame back on, huh? No, no, no. It's all right. You don't need to toast it. I'm fine. Okay, you're fine without. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's get organized here. And what do we have for a salad tonight? Oh, Marie? this is a tomato cucumber salad, kind of Mediterranean the, uh, style. Spatula? Red wine vinegar. Okay. Okay, and now I'll plate the um, the burger. Is that the bottom piece? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that fits. That looks nice. Actually, I think I got the bigger of the two. Well, you know, I show no favor. Okay. So, um, all right. So, you're going to dress yours the way you dress yours? Yes. Me? When I have fresh tomatoes, I like to put mayo on it. I like a little <laughs> bit of ketchup. And then I like to put a few of these pickle slices on. And then a slice of tomato. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take, I'm just going to help myself. Okay. All right. That's a lettuce. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right. Take Let's a give bite. Give it a taste. Wow. Cheeseburgers. Mmm. <laughs> mm. It's cooked all the way. Mm -hmm. mm. Good. Good job, dear. Mmm. Mmm. This tastes really good with the gouda. I don't know. I like it. As Jim would say, it's a team effort. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a swig. Oh, yeah. Stop. Wow. And this is a Mediterranean style salad, mm -hmm. huh? Cucumbers and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Red mm. wine vinegar. And we used our. Italian olive oil from Il Fontanara. Mm-hmm. That's our favorite olive oil these days. Mm-hmm. Look at it, so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I told Lori I wanted dramatic. It's pretty dramatic. I can <laughs> hardly do, take a bite. <laughs> you delivered, yeah. It's like a... <laughs> mm. This is one of my favorite dishes, the big cheeseburger. <laughs> and we nailed it on the uh, on the wellness, which we like. All right, so. I guess we'll step aside and eat. If you haven't made cheeseburgers yet with your uni coat of 16 or probably your other unis and a piece of cast iron, you know, the uni cast iron, it's a great little meal. Um, any last thoughts or? No, it's delicious. Okay. <laughs> well, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, what like, do you say? share, and subscribe. And um, really, we have nine hundred and eighty-nine. Eighty-nine. Oh, I did a pitch while you were in getting the tin form. Oh. So, but we'll, <laughs> we'll pitch again if you'd like to help push us over to one thousand mark. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So, but. Other than that, we appreciate you dropping into the channel. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Boy, this is really good. These burgers turned out great. Mm hmm So how do you like it with a little green pepper in it? I like it, yeah.